Hello, everybody. How are you this afternoon? I am, as usual, fighting with my computer. Okay, we have a reprieve for a few minutes. Okay, so just got back in and, uh, oh my God, what is this? See, okay. And I was, I was thinking about Megan and how violated she has been by her, the paternal side of her family with these, these antics, including the, 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 what do you call it? Documentary that came out this weekend. And I don't know whose idea it was, um, whether the father, Samantha, not Samantha Markle, the father's name is what now? Thomas Markle, whether maybe he called up his daughter and son and told them he wants to speak with these people in Australia or whether the people in Australia called and asked them to do the documentary or whether the documentary was shopped by, you know, someone of, of, of the, the three parties here, given that the father has a stroke. I mean, it seems a little bit unlikely that he would have been the instigator, but I don't know. Who knows? I mean, people are capable of a lot of different things. But I was thinking about what would motivate them at this point to to come out with yet another documentary about Megan, which included videos or video clips of Megan when she was a minor, as I discussed yesterday, that in and of itself should be some kind of of a, a legal basis for her to go to court and ask for every dime of the documentary's revenues to be turned over to her because she was a minor. She never gave permission for anybody to use her likeness as a child under the age of 18 to, 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 to profit from it in any way, shape, or form. I mean, she didn't give them permission to even if they didn't profit from it to to use her image in this way and 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 invade her privacy as a minor in this way before the entire global community and i think that personally if it were me i would hope that the law would allow me some kind of of equitable remedy in a situation like this i i don't think it's equitable i don't think it's right that anybody should take a child's life like that and and splash it all over the international press in a way that is not even you know to to flatter the child or to place the child in the best light but it seems it's a it's intention was to place that child now adult in the worst light to place an adult in the worst light by reaching back into her childhood and and using videos that she never authorized whether to make the video or to publish the videos in a public way to use those videos as a way to to prove their point i guess that you know she's not worthy of the public adoration or whatever i mean to use those videos at all to me without megan's permission should be unlawful for any anyone any human being it doesn't matter how old you are once you were a minor when those videos were taken no adult should be able to take or well adult or not no one should be able to take those videos and profit from them in any way. And so I said that yesterday and I stand by it. But today I was walking again and thinking about the case a little bit more and wondering about the motivation for even doing this documentary at this point in time because so many other documentaries have been done about Megan and I don't think it's the first time that her paternal side of the family has sat down for interviews, have disclosed um, intimate details about her, Megan's childhood and upbringing, or even shown videos dating back to her time when she was under the age of 18. And so I was wondering what possibly could have motivated this last 
video because haven't they already told everybody everything about this child, now an adult, and invaded her privacy to the maximum extent? What more is there left to say? And what would be their motivation at this point? And then I realized that I had read a number of articles that Samantha Markle faces ruin if she has to pay Megan's legal fees if her case is dismissed. And indeed, her case was dismissed a, a month ago, I believe, where the judge basically said that she did not have a case. She didn't have a cause of action against her sister for defamation. However, the judge allowed her to amend her complaint to allege... God only knows what. I have no idea what it is at this point. However, if she loses that new complaint, which has been recently filed, and I believe Megan's team has once again moved for a dismissal, if indeed the case is dismissed again, I think she would be out of ammunition for this particular lawsuit. And she would be facing having to pay Megan's legal, Megan's legal fees. And apparently, according to this British paper, it may be a tabloid. So take it with a grain of salt. I have no idea how accurate it is. But those legal fees could be in the millions of dollars. It says here, Megan Markle's half-sister faces paying millions of dollars in legal fees if she loses a defamation case against her Duchess of Sussex sister, according to an ex-US judge. So that might be a reason that they came up with this new documentary. I don't know. I mean, it, it's a theory. It's a theory. I don't know for a fact what motivated her to bring up yet another documentary, or even if she was the mastermind behind the documentary. As I said, it could have been her father, Thomas Markle, who from his, his apparently deathbed with a stroke, called her up and say, let's do this documentary because I need to clear some stuff up. It could be, I mean, he could have asked her to set the whole thing up and so on and so forth, whatever. It could have been her brother who suggested it. It could have been the TV station in Australia who suggested it, but it also could have been her who suggested it. And if it was her who suggested it, if, 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 I have no idea who suggested it, as I said, I wonder whether this has to do with the legal fees that she could be facing. And so it would mean that if that's true, if that's the, her motivation, she's using Megan to pay Megan's legal fees. That is, she brings these cases against Megan, they get dismissed, she gets sued for attorney's fees, she then brings out documentaries so that, in fact, Megan is paying Megan's own legal fees, if you know what I mean. If that's the case, it would seem to me that Megan definitely has to put a stop to this because the defamation case will just be the first one. Somebody like this will come up with other theories of how to sue Megan to keep bringing her into court. And when it's, if she loses, then she just brings out new documentaries, right? And new angles to old stories. I think Megan really, really needs to put a stop to this hair. She needs to go into court and seek an injunction, stopping them from airing any of her childhood home videos in any of their documentaries. Number one, that's an injunction. And number two, she needs damages for those publications of her home videos that have already occurred. And 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 she she possibly needs punitive damages because a parent who does this, frankly, should be punished as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you don't do that to your child where you you air your child's private childhood life in this way. I mean, this is just, it's unconscionable. And I think that there should be punitive damages assessed here. But I think the entire value of the documentary should be sought by Megan's attorneys and punitive damages and an injunction to stop them from doing this. Because to the extent that Samantha Markle does not have a way to pay attorney's fees to continue these lawsuits against Megan, which seem to be without merit, 
is the extent to which she's likely to stop using these lawsuits as a way to harass her sister and, you know, keep herself relevant um, in, in the global press. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So there you go. She needs to seek an injunction and damages because otherwise there are going to be more documentaries to pay for lawsuits that will get more than likely get dismissed, you know, because of, of a lack of merit. You know, I don't know if that made any sense, but you know, I, I fear that Samantha Marco will continue to bring lawsuits against Meghan Marco and whether or not those lawsuits are successful, I don't think she cares. The issue is to stay relevant in the global press for Samantha and basically harass Meghan right? This is my viewpoint. That's my opinion. That's what's happening here. And as far as funding these lawsuits, she'll just come out with a new documentary, right? And these documentaries are going to feature home videos of Megan, which Megan never authorized anybody to use in this capacity, but they will just keep doing these documentaries and keep getting paid for them. Megan needs an injunction to stop them from ever using any of her images when she was under the age of 18 in any documentary, and she needs damages for those documentaries which have already been made. And this is going to, I think, help a lot to stop Samantha from doing this in the future.